Now for our first T-Rex, we'll be using two 260s. One blown up with about a three inch tail, the other has about a four or so inch tail. I've got a matching five inch round, these happen to be lime. Uh, the five inch round is blown up to about two and a half inches. And then I've also got a white five inch round blown up to about an uh, inch and a half to two inches, give or take a little. We're going to start. Remember how two were shorter? I mean, one was shorter and one was longer. We're going to start with the shorter, the shorter tail, the longer balloon. Are you confused yet? It's one with the shorter tail, so that makes it the longer balloon. Now we're going to start with about a two inch bubble. And we're going to make another bubble about the same size. We're going to lock those two together and then cut the nozzle through to hold it in place. Then we're going to take our green 5 inch round. We're going to divide that into two equal bubbles, pushing the knot up in the middle so it's hidden. We're going to get them to about the same size, about like that. And then we're going to take this and lock it around at the base of where those two bubbles connect, just like that. Then we're going to take our white 5 inch round and do the same thing bubbles and then again lock it around to the same point bring those two up to the top and then spin them around to lock them in place here there we go and then position it like that so you've got the two white up on top they become his eyes the two greens become his cheeks and then you've got the mouse sticking out in the front there now what we're going to do is we're going to make about a two and a half to three inch bubble for his neck. Then we're going to make a small bubble, about three quarters of an inch. And again, like all pinch twists, want this to be round. <coughs> make that a little pinch twist. Now we're going to make two little arms, about two to two and a half inches long. So make your first one, make your second one, and lock those two together. Just like that. So there's the upper body. Now we're going to make about a three and a half to four inch bubble for the rest of his body. And then another little small round bubble that we'll make into a pinch twist. And then what's left is going to be his tail. So we're going to set that aside for a moment. We're going to grab our other 260. And we're going to start on the nozzle end. And we're going to twist about a three-quarter inch bubble there, not very large, and then a little small round bubble so that we can make that into a pink twist, just like that. Now we're going to make about an inch and a half, inch and three-quarter bubble there, another bubble, and I want, I'll want i make the second bubble here just a little smaller than this one, and then we need one more bubble the same size as this one here, so we've got after our first bubble and our pinch twist, we've got a series of three bubbles, two longer than the first, and we're going to lock those back into that pinch twist. And you want to position it so that you've got your little triangle that you just made on one side, the pinch twist, and then the bubble sticking out the other side. And you've just made one foot. Now we're going to make the bottom of his leg with about a two inch bubble. And we're going to make a little small bubble to make a pinch twist there. That'll be his knee. And then the upper thigh, we're going to make about another two inch bubble. Now what we've done is we've got one leg completed. And we're going to reverse and go backwards to make the other leg. So we'll just go the opposite direction that we came. So we're going to make another bubble like this one. And then another little small bubble to be his knee. We've got a pinch twist. And you can let go of that if that comes undone because now it's marked where you can see where you had it twisted plus you know it's soft enough to put that back in. Now we need another bubble the same size as this one here. Make his other chin. Another little small bubble. Make this into a pink twist. And then we're going to make the three bubbles that make his foot again. It's just a little bit left over. I'm going to try to get him close to the same size as the other foot. So there's our three bubbles, the long one, the shorter one, and the other long one. And then a little bubble left on the end, which you had left over to lock into that pinch twist there. And now we've completed the remainder of his legs. So we've got our foot there. So we're going to take and twist it back in the middle there. Then we're going to grab our dinosaur and we're going to take the pinch twist, or the twist we just put in the middle here, 
and hook it in the back of this bottom pinch twist here. Turn all his legs so that he's straightened up a little bit there. And then you can take his tail and figure out about how long it's going to need to be and put a little bend so that once you turn him all around, now he'll stand up pretty good. Let's give him some eyes. And of course nostrils. And there's our first T-Rex.